I don't know if I topped your story, but um, I agree that when you have these kinds of incidents, you must move on. This is not your purpose in life. Your purpose is to network with appropriate people, expand your horizons, realize your dreams. Let me ask you this briefly. Was this person French themselves? Well, because she gave this title, her French was very good because mm. in the French embassy and these kinds of things, I was, I assumed that in a French again was also very, very good, that she was French. And if she had to hire someone or ask her brother-in-law to write this message because maybe his French was better, that's yeah. very sad. That's, that's pitiful. But you cannot allow these things to define. You have gold. You have to move on from that. Mm. I think that's a good segue, which I saw written down the other day, and it is not spelt the way I thought it was spelt. Um, do do you either of you know do you, you know the term segue from one yes. act to yeah? How do you do, right? Do you know how to spell it? I didn't know. Yeah. Go on. It's like S E G U E E, and then way W A Y. No, no, no. The way no. is the G is the U E. U E, yeah. Segway. Oh. I know. <laughs> it's like so you know when someone peaks your attention. I thought it was P E A K. P I Q U E D. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Because the only reason I was going to say is that if the person wasn't French, then hmm. at least you know marks for writing in a in a separate language. I um, the lady <laughs> I ne- the lady I nearly married uh, some years ago uh, called me parsimonious. Have you ever come across that word? Can't say it. It means extremely frugal, frugal or tight-fisted. I, I'm so right. I'm so tight. I don't even have my hot water on at home. I go for a shower in the gym next door. Oh dear. So yes, that was very funny. Because if you're <laughs> going to abuse me, teach me a new word. I'm all up for it. <laughs> <laughs> so up that. yeah. So. Do you have conversations with your girlfriends where you discuss this online behavior amongst yourselves? Whoever wants. Speaking for me, most of my friends are not on LinkedIn. They're either retired or they're just set in the professions that they're in Mm -hmm. and they're not looking to expand their horizons. And there's nothing wrong with that because everyone is the way that they are. Um, Really, when I have these kinds of issues, I correspond with people who are on LinkedIn who might be seeing the same kinds of situations that I see. And and as I mentioned before, I post regularly about this. Um, It's about two weeks ago. I thanked the LinkedIn community. I had posted something about me, what I'm, what my goals are with reading to children and audiobook narration. I said, thank you, because over 41,000 people have been kind enough to read, to read my um, post. However, let's not forget what the purpose of LinkedIn is. So therefore, then I will get comments. Oh, yes, the same thing happened to me etc etc Inga uh, yes I have I've spoken with um, with a few friends about it um, mostly that's what they say me too mm. um, I have a daughter that's actually 19 and so she's on she's not she's on LinkedIn but um, she's experienced this kind of behavior and even more sexual behavior than what overtly sexual behavior than what I've experienced, um, you know, on different platforms, Instagram, TikTok. Um, that's where she's experienced it. 
And um, I just, you know, my main thing is that I cannot allow somebody else's behavior to change mine.